Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Stinker77, and we are again back on the Q-Tech world, and we're going to get started again really quick. Last time, we made these processors, and they're working great. You can see we have this is where we make the raw processors using the basic smeltering factory into a regular processors. And so we should have in here, we have a bunch of the construction cores, the destruction cores. We have advanced processors being made. That's great. You can still see we can, the machine is making silicon and it's run out of power again. This machine has been sucking power too fast. We're going to have to upgrade power here soon. We may do that in a stream. What I've had to do is actually take this off and let these lines power back up and store the power. What's been going on with this I, and what I've been diagnosing with this is this would run a little bit, but then run out of power, but then it would try to restart and run out of power. It wouldn't like continue on. So it was just always restarting and it was not doing anything. And so if I get rid of that one piece of power, it allows the lines to get all charged up and gets our power batteries back up. We'll get that back up here in a second. Okay. So for today, what I want to try to do is work on, if we're back here, you can see we have to get these redstone solar cores, which are used for the redstone solar panels. So if I go out here, you can see that this thing takes the redstone solar core. And so we got to get this. Now, this is kind of tricky in that there are three things we're going to have to figure out how to automate. And so we're going to work on the first one, which is the refined glowstone ingot. Okay. And to make it, it looks like we need an osmium compressor. Glowstone and osmium will make that. So we're going to start to work on that, I think, next. So uh, let's put it right here. And I'm going to go around this corner. I know that there are some bins there, but that's okay. I wanted to put on a corner because this device, I think we're going to have to have an import and an export. Okay, so let's just run some power first and get some more power lines. I think we're going to need, for this project, we're going to need the basic cables for power, which again, we're going to have to upgrade my power system sometime. Uh, we're going to need probably some uh, cable. We're going to need an importer. Good, we have that. We're probably going to need an exporter, which we have some of those. We're going to need a crafter again. And, um, hmm. Or it might need an interface as well. I don't know if that's actually required, but we'll, we'll put that there. Okay, so anyway. Oh, yeah, we need an osmium compressor. That would be good, right? We already have one of those. Excellent. So I'm going to run the power line around here. I'm going to put the osmium compressor right on top of this. Okay, so we know that this device is ready to go. Okay. Now, we want to um, get into this thing osmium which so we're gonna have to export that's why we needed the exporter I want to export and i want to get some osmium I want to export osmium into this it i've in testing it did not like uh putting in the uh, osmium through like the the crafter like we do here and putting it straight down it had to be on a separate like line so i'll do it this way we're saying input that and you can see this has already glowstone dust in it let's get that out of there wow it stored that we want the osmium to go into here, which is the purple section. So we want, if we're looking at the machine, we want the sides, we want the right side to be, or no, left side to be purple. Is that the left side? Extra purple, export. Oh, we don't have it tied in yet. Ah, okay, so let's grab a cable here. There we go. We should see there is the osmium pumping in. So this will always have osmium for it ready to go. And now we have liquid osmium here. So now we got to get the glowstone working. So we'll again, put the crafter down. It's not hooked to anything yet. So we will, uh, on the back here, we will hook that in and we're going to hook the importer on this side of the osmium. Oops, that's the wrong thing on the back of the osmium compressor because we want to import whatever is produced. Okay into the system and that works there and we'll do that. And now it's lit up, you can see it's blue. So that means it's ready to go. So that part's done. Let's go get a pattern. Uh, we gotta get a pattern for this, okay? And we are gonna get a pattern, this one pattern, and we're gonna make the redstone, glowstone, sorry, glowstone. We're trying to make this. 
put that pattern in here, and it should be here. Oh, not the Osmium compressor. Yeah, it should be right there, right? Did we not encode the pattern? Oh, I didn't encode the pattern. There we go. Okay, little derp there. That happens. And that's what we want for this to work. And then we just have our regular old interface on top like we do the others. I know this is probably overkill. I know people will be complaining in, in the, uh, um, whatchamacallit, in the chat, that thing. <laughs> but that's just the way I've been doing it. And it seems to have been working for me. So we'll put this as external storage. We will set that to extract only like we always do. And now we just have to tell it what we want. So we want the, let's put the glowstone back. We want glowstone, refined glowstone. And there it is. And let's say we want to have at all times 16 of those set. Okay, so 16 of those. It says they go there. We need the crafting upgrade here. That's another thing too. Keep forgetting that every time. There we go. See, so now it's pumping in the appropriate number of glowstone. So it should pump in maybe, what, 15 or so? And there it goes. And so it's making it. And you can see that the Osmian got used but got refreshed. So that's going to work great. Guys, that's the first part of this puzzle is the, uh, whatchamacallit. Now I can't put a sign here now that I think about it because of that. But that's okay. That's kind of like a one-off machine, a little bit different. So now let's go back to this and see what we can do with the other pieces. Um, these are going to be a little bit different. We need energized steel and we need blazing crystals. So let's work on the energized steel. Again, this is using power or power. Okay, so we have to get steel and electrum ingots. And electrum ingots we have, didn't we say we got that already? Yes, we have the electrum ingots and we have a bunch in there. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's, uh, let me get those, the silicon running again really quick here just to see if it uses up all the power. <laughs> okay, you can see it just starts sucking all the power out. But we have a large amount of power here in the battery, so hopefully this will uh, work out well. The power system. Now, I've been playing with this as well, and I think we need to do some things differently here. And I'm going to show you what I intend. The idea, though, that is that these should be um, one to one on these. So hopefully we can get this to run uh, correctly. I got to find a different place to do this, though. I mean, I like that where it is now, but I think we should have like this should be a little bit closer. And let's get rid of this one here. Basically, what I found is, is if you start to use it, like when I hit this down, sometimes these will hook up right away uh, and be working correctly. Let me see if I can run a power line around. And I'll put the other one of these on this side. And so they should be bound to that now. So can I get those items, those, those dirts? Yeah. Okay. So they should be bound to this, and then we can put a crafter on it and get it to work. That's the kind of where I'm going with this. So let's figure out uh, what else we're going to do. We're going to get a crafter on top of that to put in the items. Okay. See, I'm thinking as I go, guys. We're also going to need another importer. How's this doing? It's done. It has everything we need. No, it doesn't have everything we need. We need more silicon. And silicon is... Don't we have that made and made somewhere? Like, oh, we gotta make the, we gotta make the, uh, oh, thinking here. Where do we make the silicon bowls? Okay, we have the silicon bowls here, right. We had to do that manually with the diamond saw. So we had them, that and let's take half of these and we'll just do, it says it's got 23. So it's not really that. Um, so why does it not making the silicon here? Now we're, we're a little, little segue here, guys. What, what's going on here? It takes silicon. It takes a fluid, right? It doesn't take lava. Let's go look at our crafting monitor. It's saying for silicon. Let's cancel that. And let's cancel making that. And I'm not sure why. There it goes. Okay, so maybe it just got stuck somehow. Yeah, 
it's working. All right, let's get back to this power thing. Let's put this away. We want to have a crafter, and I think I'm out of crafters. But fortunately now, these are all being pre-made. So really, it's just a matter of making this, which is the machine casing, which we could automate as well, and make a crafter. And the machines are all good to go. Let's grab our wrench. Now let's go put this out here. And so that we have this kind of set up. What we want to do is have this pointing downward onto this device. Just like the other things, we're going to have it craft into here. And we need to run... Um, you know, this won't work. I'm going to run. <laughs> it's going to look crazy, I know. Uh, let's go down a little bit more here. And let's run a power line underneath here. Over to here. Okay, so both those lines are done. And I'm going to run underneath here. I'm going to run importers. Okay. Let's go get an importer because we want to import whatever is produced. So grab an importer. We haven't, don't have it yet, but we can make it pretty quickly now that we have all the processors. That's so awesome. That makes this part a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to go, um, go on the other side of it. We have to get down below it, unfortunately. And I'm going to say import into here. And we want to have the line going here for sure. And I can run across straight from here. And now that's part of our system. So that's working. Okay. And those two things should be bound to this right here. So they should power it. That's okay too. So now we got to get some patterns and start the pattern processing here. So we are trying to make the energized, right? Uh, energized this stuff through the power. There we go. And we need a pattern. Now, the other thing I found was that on this, you can't have a surplus. Um, it will, if a, if you say, as an example, it has, to, it has two here that it's trying to make when I make these. What I found is, is that if you put like, say I want eight, it throws enough to make, you know, eight of them in the thing at one time. And all of a sudden it doesn't work because it's got too many items in the, uh, the little energizing thing right there. So we're gonna put this right here. That is the pattern for that. And I think what we're gonna do is try to make another interface. And you can see it takes another importer and a machine casing, so we'll do that. And we need a crafting thing. And we need an external storage. Getting there. <clears throat> We're going to put this on top of here. If I can get see it. And let's just go up here. Okay, we have our interface. That's the machine casing. Oops, another derp. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I do that occasionally, guys. It's a little early. I still haven't had the chance to sleep yet. So... Let's do, we're making the interface. There it is, okay. Interface, and we want to, on the back of that, we want to have an external storage. I have to have the crafting thing in there, and now we just got to set it up with what we want, and it makes two of the energized glowstone. So we'll have it. Do that, energized steel, right? That's what we're making? Yes, I think so. Yes, okay, so let's just take all this out. So it says craft it, and we're gonna have the machine make two. And so it should automatically insert into this and then craft it and pull it back out. So we're gonna say I want this. No. Set 
See how it put too many in there? It's put in enough for four, and we don't want that. So we're going to grab all that out. Um, there it goes. Okay. So now if I reset this, it should work better. Let's go back over here. Um, so we're going to go with Energized. You can see where it says Craft. That's good. So we know it's ready to go and there's nothing else in the system. And if I go look for Energize, it says it's already processing, but we'll cancel that. And now it's scheduled up to make two more, which means it should be out here processing that up. And it looks like it is. And those two are working on it right now. So that is fantastic. So this is gonna work. And then we should see it disappear while I'm waiting. I'm gonna take a drink. And there it goes, come on. And it imported it out and it's ready to go again. It should be right here. So basically now this thing will, every time it calls for it, it will make it. It's the best we can do because it doesn't allow multiple items going into it, okay? So that's what has to happen. <laughs> okay, so now the last piece for this, and I don't know if we're gonna get all the way done with this today, but it's kind of similar. It's taking blaze rods and crimson iron ingots. And didn't we make crimson iron ingots? No, I don't think we did. So really, we need to get crimson iron. We got a bunch of that. We made it through uh, other means. And we have some crimson iron ore. So we can just say if we have it in our storage system, maybe we'll have to make it later. Um, so let's see here. We want to make another one of the energizing things. We have another energizing orb. We have an importer for that. So let's make another importer. And you can see it's calling for more processors. So this automatically started up. That is fantastic. I love when I see things like that work. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Now we're gonna do this a little bit differently. I'm gonna, so I can show you what's going on is that we need to have this machine right next to it. Uh, I gotta have a block. So we'll put a block down and put it on top. Okay, that's the next one. And then down from below, we're gonna put our importer into it. And he, where did that go? Not there. And now that should be importing into our storage system just like that. That's fantastic. Now I wanna have two more of these and they should work with uh, the current device that we have there. So let's first go and get, uh, what are they called? Energizing these right here. Okay, we need to make, we need more refined iron. Why don't we have refined iron? Uh, for refined iron, what is the recipe? And why is it calling for, not calling for it here? That could be bad. Refined iron, it says craft. Basically, it looks like it's sand and iron. Do we have, oh, we don't have any sand. Okay, so a little segue here, guys. We're gonna go and get some sand. Now, I've been getting sand from the you know desert that I unfortunately live by. So, uh, yeah, a <laughs> little bit of a sidetrack here, but we'll get some sand and that'll help out the system. That's the thing is that you gotta keep on top of the system if you're going to be able to have it automatically make everything you need. It'd be nice if we were just had sand automatically, um, but it hasn't <laughs> done that so far, I see. So now I have been going out here and just bulldozing. You can see where we've gotten rid of all of the, oops. Wow, did I really just run into that? Sand, vein mine, all the sand away. Thank goodness if I put in vein miner. It's pretty easy. As much as we can out of the shovel. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go home. Three seconds. We're back home. Now, if I put all the sand in there, I probably will start to make up the refined uh, iron by itself. Let's see. See, and that kicked on because now it need, knows it needs what it needs to make these items, okay? And I told it to make 16 of those, so it's going to be a bunch of the materials it needs to make this. Just like that, so now we're back in business. So let's see here. We're going to make, again, one of these energizing rods. And to make that, we need the 
this piece here, which is still only giving us one refined iron. I thought we have a bunch of refined iron here. Oh, it hasn't brought it out yet? Oh, something else is consuming it. Look, the quartz enriched iron is taking it. That's another problem with this, is it's trying to do what it needs to make all this stuff. So it looks like, guys, I'm going to have to wait on this system to, uh, in essence, get to a nominal level of items before I can go on. So I think we're going to have to continue this in the next episode. But basically what's going to go on in the next episode, we're going to get this to make the blazing crystals. And that should then, if we have blazing crystals, because we need it for the redstone solar core, we should have everything here be made. So the system should then start making... If you go back over here to look, it should start making all of the redstone solar cores, which should then be automating, automating our redstone solar panels. And that is kind of where we're going with this, okay? And then once we get that done, then we're going to try to start making the next one. And this one gets kind of crazy because it's all the panels we make, but it takes signalium and HDPE sheets and niotic crystals. So we've got a little bit of work on that one. But we're getting there, and with this automation, it's starting to work out great, I think. Anyway, guys, hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.